What's up, guys? Today, I'm actually thanking Sinji Mikami for making the hardest motherfucking difficulty in any damn game in the world. Probably isn't that bad, but there's people actually doing this shit. In The Evil Within, there is a... The hardest difficulty, let me say, is called a Kumu. And this shit is hard as shit. Anything touches you, you die. Meaning, if an enemy just touches you, if he grabs you, anything, nudges you, you're dead. If you step on a small fire, which doesn't do anything to you in any other difficulty, like you wouldn't even know that shit would hurt you or it did anything to your health, that kills you in Akuma. Traps, don't even let me start with the motherfucking traps. Because traps are just everywhere in this game. And these enemies know where to fucking lay them. Because I have to blow up here and everywhere. And I die instantly. And also in Akumu. And in the game there's there's traps that you can actually, you know, rewire and, and take apart. But they do this little thing where you have to stop the pin on like a blue sliver. And usually in the game, when it, on normal or hard, the things like this wide and of the circle, but in Akumu, it's like a hair. It's impossible. I wouldn't even fucking bother getting the parts, because it's not worth it. You're gonna fucking die. So, oh, I'm not mad or anything. I love this game. This is my favorite game. I just think it's really funny how hard this difficulty is, and how shitty it is, because people are getting done. Like, people are doing this. They're like, they're really doing this shit, and I'm trying. Like, I'm, I'm faithfully religiously playing this game, trying to do it, and guess what? I'm going nowhere. I'm on the sixth chapter so far, and I was I was watching a YouTube video somewhere, and he was basically saying, if you get past the, the second chapter, you, you're good. You can beat the game. I'm sorry, but in the second chapter, my enemies didn't shoot things back at me. Because that shit is, is impossible. I get shot by a random arrow. There's shit falling from the sky in this, this damn chapter. It's like, what the hell? But, I do I do love what Shinji Mikami did with this. I love the... One of my old, old favorite childhood games was Resident Evil 2. My father brought home a PlayStation 1 one day. And uh, he had Resident Evil 2. And he started playing it. And I watched it. And I, I just fell in love with it. It was the coolest thing like to me it looks so good looks so real and then now when you go back to it i love playing i love playing resident evil like the originals and i i, I love going back to playing old games but um i mean that was so realistic to us back then and then now you look at games now and it's just like damn you can see the sweat coming off their faces back then blood was like little cubes coming out of the you know shoulders of enemies and shit and then shoulders of you, and your enemies biting you, and it, it's it's funny how how fast we evolved in gaming. Um, and Shinji Mikami, he did the first Resident Evil, and I think he worked on the remake, and also the uh, the fourth game. And I mean, I love the way he did Resident Evil Four. Like that was like a PS2 favorite for me. Like I, I played through that shit so many times. And, like, I, I replayed it and replayed it, and I ain't, it never got old. That shit never got old. I was playing that shit like that was the only game ever. And, uh, when Evil Within was announced, I was like, you know what? He did the old Resident Evils, and, I mean, he, I never disliked any of his games. So, I said, you know, th this is like a new hope for survival horror. And, uh, when it came out, the night it came out, I came home, I played it. That shit was awesome, you know, and, and then it felt like Resi Resident Evil 4, so I was, like, falling in love. It was like having Resident Evil 4, like, a continuation for it. I just love it. I just love the whole aspect of, you know, how crazy the world is. Like, Ruvik, in this game, like, he's the main enemy if you haven't played it. He, like, twists your world up so, like, it's so crazy because, like, it, it's all, it's all about, like, you in his mind and his like brainstem and shit and you're like 
you're all messed up. This guy is sick. He is sick. Like, all the sick shit that you see in this game, all the blood and gore, it's just so good. I just, ooh, I just want to bathe in blood. Oh, my God. So, uh, if you haven't played Evil Within, check it out. And if you if you have played Evil Within, and you haven't played Akumu, check it out. Because you're going to be shitting bricks for about a couple hours. And you're going to get mad. You really are going to get mad. I mean, I got to the point where I wanted to punch my screen, but I'm... I don't want to break my beautiful screen. So, I mean, it's up to you, you know, like, if you want to go through that hell, go ahead and do it. I, I like the challenge. If you like a challenge, that is for you. If you don't like to get mad at your games, don't touch Kumu, because you will get pissed. You will die, and you're that's all you're going to see is a lot of death sequences. A lot. So, if you played Evil Within... What is your favorite part? Or, you know, what, what's your favorite aspect of the game? Just tell me in the comments below. And always remember...